Welcome back. It's coming up to that time of year again when the loveliest girls in all the land descend on County Kerry mm -hmm. to hang out with Dahi O'Shea in front of an Irish audience of around one million people. Reigning Rose of Tralee, Dr Jennifer Byrne joins us and she says that the festival is so much more than a lovely girls competition. Good morning to you, Jennifer. Good morning. Good morning Thank Jennifer. you for joining us. I'm good, thanks. thanks How for has the whole me. thing been? Quite a whirlwind, I believe. Oh, it's been absolutely phenomenal. You know, the whole experience has just been the best decision of my life and the best thing I've ever done. When, did, when you were thinking about entering it, I mean, first of all, take us back to whose idea it was and, and when, when it was mooted to you to enter to represent your county, did you think, oh, it's not for me or were you always a fan of the Rose competition? Yeah, I always loved the Rose of Trilly and I suppose it was always something I had in the back of my mind and my mum basically saw an ad for it and she really? absolutely loves the Rose of Trilly. Right. And she kind of encouraged me to go for it and I kind of thought about it a little bit, then put in the application form and I met the other girls who were going for it and then once when I did that, that was kind of the beginning of it all and I yeah. never looked back. But I think nowadays it's hard for people, mostly because of social media, you know, that you get tagged and all things. Yeah. I think people are kind of afraid of what other people will think. Yes. Um, but I have to say, for me, it was such a fantastic These decision. These opportunities are about what you make of them, aren't exactly. they? They're an That's excellent it. platform for so many things. Yeah. Um, you having your own career, ex extremely important in the whole process. But yeah. what would you say to people who, who, who still feel this is girls being judged on a stage, Father Ted style, Lovely girls. Yeah, I think, you know, anyone who says that, I don't think they actually know what the festival is all no. about. I don't think they actually take the time to watch it or find out what the Rose of Tralee does or all the roses. You know, the Rose of Tralee does fantastic charity work all year. All of the roses did so many things and I got the opportunity to travel all over the world. Mm. And the festival has really moved with the times, you know. Do you the think women... there should be one for lads though, just, you know, in the I interest suppose. of equal rights? I couldn't see why rights. not. Yeah, exactly. I couldn't see why not, you know. Maybe we should have one of them. See what talents Do you ever get fed with. up watching that back, Jennifer? Oh, stop, I know, yeah. Well, I looked so shocked at the time. <laughs> I wish I had some kind of an elegant smile, you know. And am I right in saying you were the first Offaly Rose to win it? Yeah, that's right, the first Offaly Rose. There so it was very go. special, yeah. They're still celebrating there. I'm going after of this. Of course they Back are. to the Tullamore show after this for my last official engagement at Offaly. So, yeah, they're all excited. <laughs> what, what, what are the highlights of the year being? Now, there's so many, and we have it in our notes, and you've done so many, so many things going around the world. Mm. Pick out a couple of highlights for us over the 12 months. Yeah, well, obviously that burger you cooked for me in the Listole well. Food Fair, you know, <laughs> that would be up there with the highlights. Yeah. But uh, I know definitely all the trips that I made, you know, all over Ireland and abroad, especially when I went to India with the Hope Foundation. That was really, really special Kolkata. for me. Went to Kolkata. Yeah, went to Kolkata, and I saw the fantastic work that Maureen Forrest and all the volunteers do there. And then I got the opportunity to go with some of the other roses to Belarus with Aidy Roach's Chernobyl Children International. And um, she's a real phenomenal lady yeah. as well and does such great work. So we raised 62,000 euro going over there and we had such a fantastic experience, you know. So that was kind of one part of the trips. And then on the other hand, I got invited to the mayor's mansion in New York and I was walking in the down Fifth Avenue in the parade. That's incredible. Isn't so there's very yeah. glamorous moments to your year as well. Exactly. When I, I went on to Abu Dhabi, Dubai and Australia and, you know, Irish people are just so generous and the Rosa Tree really brings... Irish families and Irish communities together. When I was in Dubai, I was at this meal with the Dubai Irish Society, and then next thing I was upgraded to first class on my flight. Yeah, so I was having my, having my steak there um, on the flight. It's and, you incredible know, how much lovely. people love it. And I do, I met Jennifer late last year down at the Listow Food Fair, and Jennifer was the VIP, the guest of honour, and myself and Lizzie, who cooks with us, we were doing a cooking demonstration and we cooked for Jennifer. And I remember in the room watching, because the room was packed, there must have been three or 400 people in the room, watching the little girls looking at Jennifer. Looking at Jennifer, yeah. yeah. And they yeah, all you know. wanted their photograph. And one girl had written a poem for you, do you remember? I know, she came she up and up, said the she poem. She came up ah, to the stage, she read a poem about watching Jennifer winning it the couple of weeks before. Yeah, exactly. And how much of an inspiration she was. It was incredible watching. But you, you see, as far as I'm concerned, you are a proper inspiration, not because Absolutely. you're the Rose of Tralee, not because you're extremely pretty, which oh, those things definitely that, so. didn't go against you, but <laughs> you are a doctor. You have focused clearly on academia. You have your own career. And I think that stuff is Absolutely. really, really aspirational. The crown, of course, attracts little yeah, girls I suppose, to you. you know, I'm probably quite relatable to some people because when I, I played so much soccer Sports. and Gaelic football, yeah, growing yeah, up, yeah. Yeah. and it's, I really wanted to try and promote women in sport this year. So I ended up going to getting invited to a lot of soccer clubs, women's soccer Great. clubs and Gaelic football clubs. And as well, you know, because it is hard when you're in school trying to balance uh, studying and... Uh, 
playing sport yeah. and everything else that happens in your life, you know. So, yeah, I, I think, you know, I've really tried to promote that this year and hopefully... So tell us what happens now, I mean, in terms of, like, do you go back to the day job? What is the day job? Take us through how yeah. your typical day will change from now to when well, you have Well, it's, back it's very care. hectic between now, so actually all the roses are meeting tomorrow in the of Glen course, Royal Hotel, yeah, yeah. yeah, for the... So the pre-festival tour is in Kildare, so we'll be going to the Cake Club and promoting the taste of Kildare sure, and all that. Yeah. So I'm there for uh, another three nights. Right. Um, and then I'm going down to Kerry, so all of us are making the trip to Tralee. Yes. And it's absolutely hectic down there. And I think, you know, like you were saying, people think it's just the two nights yeah. on stage. But it's I a would, whole festival. I'd yeah. really encourage people to go down. My family had such a great time and there's so much free street entertainment mm. and the whole festival is brilliant. So if people are looking for somewhere to go next week, the 17th to the 21st, I really couldn't That's encourage the place them more. To be. It's so fun. And you'll yeah. hand over your crown then. Will you be yeah. glad to hand it over? Uh, so I'm definitely going to miss huge parts of it, you know, of because course. I've had such a fantastic time. But, you know, I've been talking to some of the previous Rose of Chile's as well. And I suppose I'm really excited for someone else to get that opportunity to do it. And as well as that, I think a year is a good amount of time. You know, I've given this year everything. I was able yeah. to make the most of it and uh, really give it everything. And, uh, yeah, I'm just excited for someone else to do it. And I'll have my weekend on the couch for and, the first time in a year. Chill out. Yeah. <laughs> and you're in paediatrics in Galway Hospital at the moment. Exactly, yeah. Which is so lovely. I really enjoyed it, yeah. So it's my first time working in paediatrics mm. and um, I'm back there five weeks now. So I took four months out and worked for the other eight months and they got me to come in on Thursday. So Thursday was my last day officially as the Rose working. So I came in with the satin tiara and went around visiting some See, of the patients. See, this girl isn't silly. Staff. She didn't take the year off. She took no, four no. months off. No, no, so no. You, you're all about balance, really, aren't you? Oh, yeah, and I think, keeping I think it real. balance is good. Yeah, yeah, you need a bit of... Well, my family would never let me get too carried away with no. myself See, anyways, that's you very know. important yeah, yeah. But but they, uh, must, they must be so proud of you they must like you saw the pictures from the night that you won yeah. the celebrations they must have been so proud your mommy who ended you in the competition yes. I know yeah exactly you know all and my all my mom's sisters and all oh. my dad's probably like every all of them just got so involved with it and someone gave me a piece of advice like one of the previous roses to try and you know include my family and friends in it as much as I could and that was such good advice because they ended up coming with me to stay in these hotels and go to the different events and you know, that's what the Rosa Trilly is all about. It you know, shouldn't it's all be lonely or solitary. Yeah, it shouldn't yeah. be one, one person. It should be involving everyone and bringing all communities together. And, you know, the support I got at home as well for my homecoming and everything like that was just absolutely fantastic. So I really oh, enjoyed it. Do you recommend it. anybody was thinking about entering into it? Go for it. Yeah, I couldn't encourage it more, genuinely, because yeah. I, I suppose I, th I was thinking like that too, you know, will I do it, won't I? Yes. And now look at me, you know, I've, yeah. I've literally travelled all over the world and met yeah. so many people. And uh, yeah, I couldn't encourage them to do it more. They can message me and ask me about it or anything. I'd Brilliant. be happy, happy to give some well, advice. Listen, you were well chosen. on the year that you've had. It's been mm. a brilliant year. Thanks um, very much. And continued success in your day job. Thanks a million. And I'm sure we'll be hearing from you again in the future. Oh, hopefully, yeah. yeah Thanks absolutely. very much. Absolutely. Well done, Jennifer. Thank you. Thank Thanks you very much. Time, Jennifer. Right, after the break, we're showcasing this season's easy-to-wear dress style, the tea dress. Fashion is up next. <laughs>